Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got a parcel and this one is a Timo parcel. And it's come in a grey bag instead of an orange bag. Oh! <laughs> uh, yeah, at least when the Timo ones arrived, you knew what they were. And they were great big orange bags and they, uh, yeah, really stood out. And this one arrived and I thought, oh, what have I ordered that's that big and what is it? And of course, it's my T-Mill parcel in a grey bag. Maybe people were uh, doing naughty things because the T-Mill bags are orange and stand out too much. I don't know. But anyway, so we have this one. Let's get into it and have a look and see what we got. So this is my third T-Mill package. Um, is it my third or is it my fourth? Don't know, I'll have to check. I'll have to put it across the screen. Days go that fast, I just don't know where I am, who I am, what's going on. Uh, so, yeah, I noticed that they have these folders. Uh, they have them in pink and blue. And it's obviously a takeoff of the art.storage folder. So I wanted to get one and just give it a little bit of a compare because obviously this one, with it being Timu, is uh, cheaper. It was £8.09. And... Pence. Um, and first of all, looking at it, it just has this as the clasp at the bottom, look a bit of elastic around a button. Uh, whereas the art dot one actually has the little plastic fold over um, pressed uh, fastening there. Um, it is a little bit wider than the art dot one. So possibly you'll get more in it. There's more of a depth at the actual spine, but this is definitely thinner plastic it feels cheaper um the art dot one is very very rigid plastic whereas this has got quite a bend on it very very different and uh, yeah it's got a different handle as well the art dot one is sort of shaped and curved and it's more rounded at the edges i mean not that that makes much difference it's maybe um i don't know better for carrying maybe easier on your hand rather than square but uh, yeah the the handle goes you know up to carry it and then you can just push it down it's quite an easy movement there but uh, yeah it just all feels a little bit cheaper shall we say uh, yeah okay i mean i love that art dot one right what i am interested in is what the pages are like inside okay so they've all got a little bit creased but that's fine i mean it's come a long way uh what have we got here so, right, ah, now then. So the art dot one is actually fastened in the middle and fastens over the pages. And it has like a long, thin um, piece of, to fasten it in. So this is just the two little bits for the handle there. So how do these uh, open? Ah, right. Okay, so that's the biggie. These are all top loading or side loading pages. So you put your uh, picture in there, your 30 by 40s that you usually hold, uh, diamond painting or whatever you're putting in them. Whereas the art dot one actually go in from the side. So they're a lot easier to use. These I sometimes find trying to slot a picture downwards into these can be a little bit tricky. Um, and uh, yeah, if you balance it, I mean, you know what I'm like, I always make things harder than they need to be and I'll have a bit of stuff on my knee and I'll be trying to slot it in and everything's dropping everywhere. Um, so yeah, that's quite a biggie for me. That's one of the reasons that I really, really love the Art Dot ones is the fact that the opening is down the side of each pocket. So you slide the paintings in from the middle and it just makes it that easier, bit easier to use. So that's quite a big difference. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a cheaper price, but I say you usually pay for what you get. Um, I suppose it depends what you like. To me, this is just the same as getting one of those A3 folders, the display books, um, other than the fact it's possibly got, I don't know, how many pages have we got? Because it doesn't say on the website. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 15, 16 pages, 32 pages, that's an odd number. Let me try this side. All right, so it's 30 pages. <laughs> um, 
yeah so we've got 16 on one side and 14 on the other instead of having 15 on each side but that's fine so it will hold 30 paintings i mean it would hold 60 if you put one on each side uh, you'd be okay with ones that haven't got drills on but certainly once you've got the drills on uh yeah you're not going to get uh, 60 in here you'd probably get the 30 in because it has got a little bit uh, wider spine it is a little bit um wider at the top than the art dot one but uh, yeah i don't like the fact that it's top loading um, if I'm going to pay this amount of money for one, because the A3 ones you can get uh, quite a bit cheaper than £8.09. And nine, nine pence. So, yeah, I think, oh, these are all folded at the corners here as well. Look, they've all got creased and folded up there. Yeah, I would definitely uh, want it to be side loading. So I would probably get another art dot one. I don't know whether I would get another one of these, but... Uh, yeah, so that was my item number one. Okay, let's see what else we got in the bag. Oh, I got one of the magnetic pictures frames to try. Now, this was £4.04, and four pence, um, which is about an average price for them, to be honest. It wasn't particularly cheap. It actually looks as though it's got a thicker border. Yeah, it has. The ones that I've got from Amazon sorry i'm just looking around my bit my uh, craft room and i'm just looking at the ones i've got on the wall yeah they're definitely uh, a thinner border than this so let's uh, just have a quick measure and have a look at this where have i put my tape measure there it is so the outside should be 30 by 40 yeah 40 30 so it's 13 and three quarter inches by uh, nine and three quarter inches sorry 40 centimeters is 15 and three quarter inches my brain's going yeah so the actual inner is 25 which is 13 and three quarter inches by 25 so that actually then it is going to fit better the 25 by 35 paintings you're not going to have the edge which I quite often put washi tape on or put a backing or something behind it so these have been made maybe a little bit better okay um magnets yeah wider as well so it's got a little bit creased there has it got a coating on the top let me have a look i'm hoping so because it's very very yeah it has it's got a a carrier sheet on the top look so that needs coming off i'll leave it on for now it's like a dust cover stops it getting scratched stops it getting dust on until you use it and these are actually self-adhesive as well uh, which i didn't realize until i saw another youtuber using them um so you do have a self-adhesive backing on them which comes off which leaves your frame totally clear um, and then this is all sticky to stick on your wall. Well, I don't want these stuck on my wall. I keep the backing on so that it's got a white background and I use command strips on these. And nothing's come off, you know, the backing hasn't started peeling off and them drop off the wall. They've all been fine so far. So yeah, £4.4p. I would probably get some more of these because I say they are a little bit um, wider frame, albeit I'm not all the, overly keen on the wider frame. I do like a smaller border because I want the picture to be the focal point, not the actual border. I can't remember if they did them in different colours or not. I'll have to check that. But uh, yeah, okay, so that was my next item. All right, and they've got this thing now on Timu where when you've checked out, they start sending you special offers and it tends to be things that you've already had in your basket previously. And then they think, oh, we think you might like this as well. So yeah, there was this little pencil box uh, and they said, oh, we have this on special offer for you. Add it to your uh, order now and uh, you can have it for this special price. And I thought, oh, well, it, you know, it's quite handy. Uh, it's all right. I'm just looking for the price of it. So this was 87 pence and it's just a pencil pot. It doesn't want to come out of the packet. Right. So, yeah, I'm sure you'll have seen these around. They come in different colours. It was the blue one that was the uh, special offer. I couldn't get one of the other colours. I would probably prefer a different colour. But I just thought, well, for 87 pence, that's fine. Just to put your diamond painting pens or whatever in. I've just got a, a Millie Moo one there. That's one I made myself. Just put 
um, one of the diamond painting pens in it instead of a ballpoint pen. So yeah, you can just about see. Yeah, look, it's a little fluffy faced pen. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a pen holder now. Put my little uh, Millie Moo in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's big enough. It'll get plenty in it. Yeah, okay. I mean, actually, that maybe be good. You know, if you're using um, brushes for water or whatever uh, for painting. Brushes for water. Liz, what are you talking about? If you're using brushes for painting, uh, this actually has like a lip on the inside. So, yeah, if you're... Uh, it's a bit tricky to put back on, to be fair. Make sure you get it inside. Uh, you could wipe your brushes and have your water in there. That That's pretty good, actually, probably for holding water. So, yeah, 87 pence. I thought, oh, well, I'll have one of those. So I ordered that and then it said had one of these detangling brushes in your basket um we can give you it for one pound 77 would you like to order this as well and i thought yeah i've been looking for a nice sort of wide brush for millie moo so i thought for one pound 87 we'll give this a uh, one pound 77 sorry we'll give this a try so it's got quite a shape to it actually i thought it would be quite nice so as i said it's supposed to be a detangling brush so we'll see whether it actually detangles or not. But it's quite nice and soft. And with it being shaped, I thought it might be quite nice. I mean, this is actually a proper human brush. Uh, it's not supposed to be for, well, it isn't advertised as for animals, for dogs. Uh, but yeah, Millie absolutely hates being brushed. So we thought we'd maybe try something different. So that's my nice little brush i mean you can see it's quite a big one as well that's my hand size i've got big hands but you know you can sort of get a general idea of that one so it'll actually stand in my little pot as well <laughs> and then it also said and i thought oh i'm not doing any more after this and then it said um you've got your shower and body wash 77 pence do you want to add one of these and then after this i just stopped looking because i thought i'm not adding anything else this is just getting silly and again i thought this might be quite nice to use for millie moo oh i thought that handle would move oh okay i thought that would maybe move over the top but it doesn't and that's very very small as you can see i can uh, ugh, just about get my fingers in but that's not oh, it's got a smiley face on it <laughs> oh my goodness i love it when things have stupid faces and things on that's brilliant so what you do with these is you um, you put your uh, shampoo or whatever inside there and then you just close it up and then you, you just scrub it. It's very, very soft rubber bristles there and uh, you just clean. And I thought that would be easier for sort of brushing Millie Moo and giving her a good scrub while I'm trying to hold her in the bath if she's in one of those moods where she doesn't want to be in the bath. So, yeah, again, for less than a pound, I thought, well, it's worth worth a go. It's like a little smiley face with a little skirt on. Woo! Just moves along. Okay, uh, the next item I got was actually some uh, washing machine cleaners. These were £1.98. They've come very, very uh, squished. They're just little tablets you either put in your drawer, I suppose, on your washing machine um, or inside. There's no instructions come with it at all. I'll ha have a look on the website and see if it says anything. Um, but here in the Hull area, we have very, very hard water. We've got underground springs um, underneath Hull. It's got it's like its own water table and everything. Uh, so, yeah, we tend to find that uh, things do get a bit clogged uh, and very scaly because of the hard water. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, give those a go for that price uh, and see whether they work or not. It's great fun living around the Hull area because, uh, yeah, we, you end up using a lot of shampoo and a lot of shower gel and things like that. And then you go somewhere like the Lake District where the water is a lot softer than it is here. So you don't really need as much shampoo or shower gel. Uh, and you forget and you put your normal amount on and then three days later you're still stood in the shower trying to wash it all off. <laughs> and then I got these which are little can openers and I thought these would be really good for hubby. Um, it, they were £1.49 and the six in the pack. So quite easy to put in your handbag as well I suppose. And they're just if you've got uh, a can of pop or whatever you can just open up the um 
you can just use them for getting underneath the ring pull and just pulling it up rather than either using your nails or having to get um, a knife or the end of a spoon or something. So I thought they were quite handy and as I say, I thought they'd be quite handy for hubby as well because uh, he has got dexterity problems a little bit. So yeah, I thought that would be quite good. So I've got a set of six of those all in nice colours. So not a bad price, just one of those little things that you think, oh, they might be handy. And then in six months time, I'll be thinking, why did I buy them? They're still in the drawer and we've never used them. <laughs> Finally, I got 12 little diamond paintings. Yay. <laughs> so, um, you know that uh, if you've been with me a while, uh, you will know that I've been collecting the big 40 by 40 diamond paintings with all the months of the year on. Uh, and then Timu had these at £1.79 each and they're only a 20 by 20 one. So I thought, oh, well, they're only little. So you could easily have all 12 of these out at the same time um, rather than having the one great big painting or trying to find somewhere to put all of them. So I thought, right, I'll have a look at these and see what they're like, see how pixelated they are. Um, so, yeah, I didn't think that was bad. I mean, what have I paid? £17.90, uh, well, about £21 something uh, for 12 little diamond paintings, which I don't think is a bad price. Right, so let's see if we can uh, get them in order. That's August. Oh, that says love on it, so I'm guessing that's February. They do look like they're exactly the same pattern. Um, I'm thinking that's July, so July, August. Um, does that look like October, maybe? Could be, could be. I thought we'd just have a quick look. I won't look at all the drills on every single one. That's January. January, February. That's June. That's October got May there. Some of them you can read, some of you can. Oh, that's December. That one is September, October, December. Uh, that one is April, so I just want March then. That one looks like it might be March. Yeah. So let's see if we can have a look at these in more or less order and see where we are and just have a look at the pictures. Okay. And uh, they look a lot smaller, actually, than uh, the 20 by 20. I think that's the canvas size. Uh, we will have a look and see what we've got. Oh, OK, so they're not too bad. Um, that is a very small picture, though, isn't it? So let's have a look what we've got here. Size-wise, we are six inches which is oh goodness they are 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters now then that's quite uh, small but i'm sure i've seen somewhere recently where you can get the little 15 by 15 photograph frames so they would look quite nice all as a set on the wall wouldn't they this one has 10 different colours and let's just give it a bit of a flatten because I will be keeping these all flat once I've got them all unboxed. And I think what I'm going to have to do is put a label on the drills as well. So you've just got your standard pen, dot and wax. Let me just grab some labels and a pen. Hey, Scotty Dog Crafts pen look with my little logo on and my little, this is Maisie, um, my old Scotty Dog, oh bless her. She was the little Scotty that we had before Millie. Uh, that's Buster, who was her friend who lived across the road. And then that's Millie Mo stood on top of a diamond. So, yay. So, January. Excuse my appalling writing, but I know what it means. <laughs> Because I, I say, I'm not going to put them back in the packets. Does that say January on it anywhere? No. And... Oh, it does have the code number on there, though. So I might put the gems back into there. Just keep these flat. 
okay so right i'll have a look at this set of gems but i think we're all just going to be acrylic gems they're just going to be more or less the same i don't think that's too bad a picture um it's hot hot cocoa oh that's not so bad and january that looks like a and a doesn't it and it'll be interesting to do but yeah i just thought oh well i've got some little ones to do right so, drills don't look too bad. Lots of uh, different colours. Yep, ten different ones. So we've got your three eight six five. Yep, it's all DMC codes as well. Um, the drill field is exceptionally clear, with it being a little one. So, oh, that's a nice colour. That's like a tealy colour, like that. So yeah, and your blues. And a little bit of burgundies and a little bit of like a buttermilk at the end. You've probably seen these on a lot of the price friendly sites, the 40 by 40. I think I'd have preferred it if it was bigger, um, even a 30 by 30 maybe, or if it was the full 20 by 20. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how readable it is once... Uh, I've got all the drills on it, but I just thought they're just quick little projects to do and just a bit of fun. So that's the first one. I'll put that one back in there. This I've written on it January as well. So I'm putting it in there. I'll stop the label from coming off. <laughs> okay, so January. I have to write these down, really. I could, actually, I could do this look much. April, May, June, July, August. Oh, my pen's running out. September, October, November, December. Yeah, it's always better to just label everything up. Well, it is for me anyway. Otherwise, if uh, I don't, I'll end up losing things. After my big clear out, I've ended up with two canvases with no drills and two canvases with drills that I can't, no, three canvases with drills that I can't find the actual uh, canvas. Uh, three lots of drills where I can't find the actual canvas. So, yeah, and then I've got another couple of canvases where I don't know where the drills are. So I still need to sort out a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, thank you uh, to everybody that did buy my little mystery boxes and uh, it has helped immensely with my clearing out and uh, getting my new lights which i are using today unfortunately i've not got them set up yet i have to read things and think about them <laughs> so that's pen boat and wax i'm gonna have a huge amount of those this one is 11 colors they're quite easy to read as well i think these will look quite cute actually getting them all Put up. You, you could put them if you've got like a staircase or something. I suppose you could put them all down the staircase. Put them which start at January and go up to December at the top of the stairs. <laughs> oh dear! Right. So yeah, they're not a bad canvas actually. They're not too floppy, um, but they're not too stiff either. They're like a medium canvas. I do like the fact that they've got just one. Um, drill all the way around the edge and then the one drill of the edge colour and then you've got your pattern in the middle that just sort of like gives it a little bit more texture a little bit more depth to it so I'm not going to take these out because uh, I think you can more or less see the colours and if I go through all 12 packs you'll definitely be asleep and I might be as well <laughs> okay but I am going to put a little February sticker on the stickers so that we know that one is February. Okay. I'm not going to measure any more either because I think you can realise they're all the same size. And then March looks like we're all St. Patrick's Day for March. Okay. Okay, so all right, March. Yeah, March. Lucky. They're not bad, actually. Uh, when I first um, opened the pack and saw how small they were, I thought, oh, dear, this is uh, not going to be brilliant. But actually, they're better than I thought. 
um, they are showing up quite well and they're quite nice as well for like my little granddaughter um, who probably wouldn't want to do a big 30 by 40 full drill um, but I'm sure she'd probably have a go at doing one of these so yeah pen boat and wax and lots of greeny colours so there's no specials or any special shapes they are just all acrylic gems in these so yep so that one is a march whoops and put it back in his pocket keep them all together okay so it's a good job i did de-stash a little bit because uh, i'm gonna need the space for all these new ones it's a good job they're not the 40 by 40s oh my goodness i would need them everywhere wouldn't i <laughs> right so let's open this one and have a look No, come on, I don't want to rip the bag because I want to keep the drills in the bag. Oh, look. Do you know, there's always one. And if you don't know who it is, it's probably you. Bum -bum. Right, so Pembroke Wax. See if we can get this canvas out now. Why is it stuck? Has the plastic come off it somewhere and it's got stuck? Oh, it's like that label's grabbing onto it. Is there a hole in the bag? Oh, yes, there's a little hole just in the bag there. So when they've put the label on, it's gone through and stuck on the canvas. Ah. Right, so this one is April. So we're... Oh, it's, they've put it as spring, not April showers. But I suppose not all countries have April showers. It's probably just the UK. Albeit we usually have showers most months, to be fair. So. <laughs> oh, and they've sent me there a little bit of packing. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've not had any of that for a while. So, Oh, and I've got a little bit of sticky just on that canvas there, just on the cover sheet, so where that label's been stuck. So this is a very... Oh, look at those colours. That's pretty. Very pastel colours, these. Very nice. Oh, yes. Nice and soothing. And this one's 13. So we've had a 10, an 11, an 11, and now this one's a 13, so... April has uh, just a couple more colours than the others at the moment. So that's good. So pop those in there. Okay, and that's that one. So if they're a little bit creased, but if you put them under something heavy or put them in a folder with things on top, they will soon flatten. All right, so let's have a look at May. Looks like we've got May flowers on this one. Oh no, this one's a soft plastic bag, so it'd be awful to get them back in. Right, okay. But we'll have a go, because they've got the labels on the front with the numbers as well, so it just gives me a little bit more of a heads up. Uh, Alright, pen, boat and wax. So oh, that one's come totally differently packaged, look. That one's got... Um, that one's got a grip seal bag on it rather than that. It came in a soft plastic bag, so I wonder if it's a different manufacturer, albeit it does look the same. And we've got a hot pink. Yes. Oh, actually, this one feels actually. This one feels a little bit thicker, a little bit different material as well. I'll give it a quick measure and just make sure it is. So it's maybe a different manufacturer, with it being slightly different packaging. Okay. Yeah, the cover sheet's different as well. The cover sheet's a lot thinner. So, hmm, interesting. Oh, and this one is 18 different colours. My goodness me. 18 colours on a 15 by 15 painting. Wow. Okay, that'll be interesting. Now then, that, I believe, does that say flowers? That is quite bad, actually, to read. That's not so bad. It is better, really, if they do all of the letters in the one colour. This one, as you think you can see, there's about three different colours on that word, flowers. It really doesn't look like flowers, does it? So I'm inclined to think when I do this one, I will actually um, put this one as all one colour, probably do it in the dark pink, wherever what the letters are. Oh, and this one's got a different border as well. So instead of having one layer and then a border, it's got two and then it's got a different colour and then it's got another colour as well. 
So, okay, this one is quite a bit different, right? Oh, that one had, just let me have a look. So January and February were the same border. March has just got a little bit more interest to it. April has got a double border, okay. And then this one, as I say, seems to be a different manufacturer, but it has got hot pink, so we'll let it off. Let me just do a quick measure, make sure it is still the same size. Because I don't want to have got a set and then find that one of them sticks out like a sore thumb. You know, it is still the 15 centimetres, six inches. Yeah, 15 centimetres, six inches. These would be very nice, actually, as well on a birthday card. Um, if somebody's birthday is May or April or whatever. Um, if you put it on a seven by seven inch card, so you've got a board, an extra board around it of the card. Or even it would go on a six by six inch square card as well. So, yeah, it'd be quite nice as a little keepsake as a birthday card, wouldn't it? So, yeah, okay. So we'll put the uh, little sticker on there. Right, so yeah, I mean, they've all come from the same place, but it doesn't look like they're all the same manufacturer. Right, well, this one seems very different to the others anyway, so we'll see. We'll see what the next ones are like. As long as they all match in when they're on the wall, that's all that really matters, doesn't it? Okay, keep keeping them flat. Right, so the next one is June. And uh, yeah, I was saying uh, flame in June and then somebody said to me, oh, well, it's actually uh, Pride Month is June. So I've uh, forgotten all about that. How you forget about it? I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so that's why there's all the rainbows and all the colours. Oh, this one's got a little hole in the bag as well. How strange. Unless they do that on purpose to keep it in the packet properly. I don't know. A bit odd, but never mind. Right, so we're back to the other style um, of bags, just your little plastic bag. And oh, now then, this one is saying summer on it, so June, summer. Right, oh, that's uh, quite sticky there. Okay, this one again only has 11 colours, so it does seem as though that one does stand out a little bit differently from the other, because it's, say it's got 18 different colours on it. Hmm interesting because so sort of when you look at that one and then you look at that one you'd probably think that that one had more colors than the flowers but it hasn't this has got seven more colors on it the may one to the june one strange okay so that is june and it's lovely with all hearts and rainbows so yeah i like that one okay and quite a nice colour palette again, different colours. They are all round uh, gems as well. So that one is June. I have to remember I've put the stickers on, otherwise I'll be squinting at them, looking for ages and then realise i put stickers on them. I've got a memory like a sieve. Right, well, I think we decided that this one is July. So let's have a look. Where is the opening? Come here, come here, where are you? Let us have a look. That one didn't want to come out of its bag. So oh, we've got the uh, extra bit. Of, oh, two extra bits of plastic in this one. Thanks a lot for sending me. Oh, that's a bit. Oh, no, I thought it was a bit of ribbon. No, it is a bit plastic. Thanks for sending me a rubbish. OK, pen, boat and wax. And do see. So we're all red, white and blue within reason there. Bit of shading. This one is only 10 different colours. Okay, land that I love. USA. So, I mean, if you don't want that on, uh, you can always just uh, put drills over it so it doesn't show. Uh, I probably will do that because obviously um, I'm English, I'm not American. So I would probably cover the USA up. I might keep that. I don't know. Because, I mean, our flag is red, white and blue anyway for the United Kingdom. So, yeah. Okay. So that's that one. And we'll put a sticker on July. Right. That one in there. Okay. Let's have a look at August. 
so we've got watermelon for august is that when watermelons come out um i don't know that we can grow the sort of the big watermelons here i know we've got lots of pumpkin fields that are just starting to come out at the moment so yeah watermelon it says down the side see these are what's that say cool oh cool off with wow yeah cool off with watermelon okay uh same pen boat and wax oh these are nice colors i like that green like a jaded style green there and the very deep red i like the cup as well with the watermelon design on it i think that's quite good okay just actually thinking about it these would be quite nice rather than having them on the wall uh, giving them to people for birthdays next year if you don't know what to put on a birthday card i mean i've been making birthday cards for people now for like 20 years and you do start running out of ideas of what to send people when it's like your 20th year of sending them a birthday card you think oh gosh what am i going to put on it this year uh, i can't do that again we've had that for years so these would be quite nice again yeah we're, we're back to having the border um which is like the march one with just the little edges on it so yeah it is just april that's got a double layer albeit they are two different colors and then that may one i say is quite different altogether okay right so pop those back into there bet you didn't think you were going to be tuning in to watch me just put labels on drills did you <laughs> Right, so August, July, August, right, I just suddenly thought we'd missed one, no we haven't, so did we decide, well that one's September, so that must be October, and that must, ah November, yeah I think that one says Thanksgiving on it, right, so, yeah, might as well open them all in order now we've started, okay, so September we have Oh, back to school. All oh, right. <laughs> back, as in the composer, rather than that should be a K, not an H. So, um, yeah, uh, not quite sure how they think that. No, it definitely can't possibly, no, it needs to be uh, a K, so I'll have to change that. <laughs> That's quite funny, having one that says back to school um, and the back spelt wrongly. <laughs> This one has 10 colours. Oh dear, that's um, yeah, quite funny. <laughs> Sorry, little things amuse me. Right, it's got apple on it as well, so apple for the teacher. Um, okay, yeah, just, oh, that's a different colour, like an apple green there. Different uh, gems there again, all your different colours. Oh, and this one's got some little grip seal bags in. So, yeah, your reward for buying a lot more than one is a few grip seal bags. <laughs> Always handy. Okay, so let's put these on here. Actually, yeah, my mum's birthday is September, so I couldn't really send that one to my mum, could I? I suppose I could cover over the back to school. <laughs> Just put mum on it or something. Uh, yeah, September. I've, actually, I've not been checking the spelling much on these. Um, but, yeah, that one just sort of jumped out at me because <laughs> I couldn't read it. couldn't work out what it said. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so that is September. So, oh, I think we know what October is going to be. Yay, Halloween. Getting ready. I know the shops are getting all the stuff in now. And, oh gosh, this one's stuck as well. Let's give it a bit of a squidge, that's it. Get it out. Okay, so, oh, it just says boo on this one. They've not tried to squash Halloween down the side, they've just put boo. <laughs> so we've got our pumpkin and our little bat flying up there. Look, oh, and this one's only seven colours. Okay, so this is uh, quite a small amount of drills, right? 
but they are they're fun they're cute they actually do look i think because they are quite pixelated they do look like little cross stitch pictures and i think they will look like little cross stitch pictures when they're done um because it you know it will all be in like little squares so yeah quite like that one so i've got quite a smiley uh, little pumpkin as well there okay so pen boat and wax and all our lovely halloween autumny colors love that favorite time of year is autumn so that is october and two more to go okay so this is november which is thanksgiving if it was a uk one it would have a definite jumper on it and um, i've actually had to start wearing socks the last three days i've been wearing socks because it has taken a turn for the cold as it were in the uk so pen boat and wax the same uh, oh look at those colors they're real autumnally type colors your oranges and greens and golds lovely like those 12 colors on this one what does that say then oh i think it says thankful t-h-a-n no it can't say thankful no idea what that says then t i think it's maybe supposed to say thankful t h a n k uh yeah but we've missed the k out so it's thankful <laughs> uh yeah i'll probably just cover that over i can't think what else it would be cockle I H H H C U L. <laughs> yeah, no, that one's not translated quite so well, so I probably will just cover that one over. Um, yeah, I suppose I could drop it down a line so that you do get and try and do it as thankful, but then it's fitting in another letter. Well, I suppose I could. I'll see what I get when I get round to doing it. I'll see where I am with it. <laughs> oh dear but yeah we've got our november as i say i've not been checking the uh, spelling on those just looking at the top bits really okay so, i love those colors i think these are my favorite colors and actually i do like the shape of that cup as well because it keeps your drink a bit warmer when the neck of your cup is a little bit smaller it keeps your drink warmer if you've got a really big wide um top of your cup then it goes cooler a lot quicker so yeah i like that one and i say i like those colors so finally december what have we got what have we got oh i haven't put that one in its bag again I'll put it in its bag oh oh now look don't start playing me up <laughs> <laughs> can't be doing with it today all right so oh. yeah what they've done is they've put a little hole through the bag or there has been a hole in the bag and uh, where they've put the sticker has then stuck through onto the uh, cover sheet of the canvas all right okay so we're on to um little gingerbread men again and we've got ho 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 oh, that's quite pretty and this one's got the double border on it as well so actually it looks smaller than the others it's not but it does look smaller with having the double bow same toolkit again and uh, not particularly christmasy colors as such but i suppose it's because we've got the browns for the gingerbread man okay so that is our 12 different canvases i just fancied oh and that's a little bit yeah it's still sticky it's just sticking a bit too much to that uh, canvas underneath is that cover paper and this one is 12 colors the same oh gosh look at that it's as though this is the wrong way on but i'm not going to change it now and i have always got my magic glue if it goes wrong so that's our 12 months and our 12 sets of drills so it wasn't an overly exciting uh, unboxing this one i'm sure i did get something else as well um, but I've already given that to somebody as well. <laughs> There's 
not many people come to this house and leave empty handed, I have to say. Um, I do tend to say, oh, just have this and just take this with you. And would you like this when people come? Right, they'll all go in my donate box, which is getting ever fuller. So not a wildly exciting unboxing, uh, although they have had 12 diamond paintings. <laughs> teeny tiny ones but they are still diamond paintings a little pen pot my folder to put them all in my brush my little uh, wash brush and some little uh, can opening gadgets and as i say a couple of other things that i have actually already gifted to people so yeah it's because i've had this sat oh it must be maybe two or three weeks uh, and not unboxed it because i've been doing lots of other things as well Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.